Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Hunting where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed in the channel. So with that said, we're looking at World of Farms and um, first thing I want to share with you is that they did have an audit done on this project. This is past, you know, with issues. So there's a medium severity issue. Um, the verbiage in the audit was that it was on the protection address. Uh, the explanation, you know, verbiage in the audit states that if the protections address is at is address zero, the contract address will be sent to the protections address. This will cause an error and the contract will not work as it's supposed to be. Uh, it is not able to set the protections address after traded enable is live or is active. You know, so this is definitely something that the project will want to address before the um, contract, you know, or before trading is enabled, you know, on the contract. So I don't know if the team has taken any steps to reconcile this. Again, you guys know I'm just reporting, you know, on the audit findings at the time of scouting the project, you know, so if the team happens to come across the video and uh, there have been changes and they reconciled it, you know, rec you know, address the issue, by all means, I would encourage, you know, either somebody from the team, um, you know, or someone representative of the project, you know, to uh, let me know so that uh, I can take a look, you know, at, um, you know, those findings to see that it has actually been resolved to update the information in the description uh, regarding this video and its content here. Okay, so with that said, we'll take a look at their pre-sale page. We see this is going to be a fair launch. We see some badges, Seifu, Audited, and KYC'd. You know, so it says here, World of Farms is a unique play-to-earn game where you can build your farm and earn tokens, collect pieces of land, wood, metal rocks, picks, and shovels, harvest your crops, feed your animals, and build your agricultural empire in DeFi. Got a number of things checked off here. PDE game concept, zero unlocked tokens, low tax, three and three, no private sales, CMZ, CMC, and CG fast tracking, staking with a high APY, Chinese marketing, Yahoo Finance market with press re release, AMAs on Golems, Caesar, Venom, CryptoCat, and more, centralized exchange listing in the first week. So, as far as this in the first week, I don't know if there's anything that's been confirmed yet or if this is just an aspirational thing that they're hoping to do. I have no idea. So we see just over 22 hours before the pre-sale goes live, 25 uh, BNB soft cap. We got a video there that you can engage with on your own since we don't cover videos in the uh, exploration projects on the channel. So we see here liquidity lockup time of 365 days after the pool ends, and this is what's going on in terms of token metrics. So that's pretty much it in terms of you know the, um, the their fair launch page. They've got uh, their white paper here, you know, so um, as always, you know, we do like to take a look at the code tokenomics and the roadmap. So we'll take a look here since we are here. And so we see they've got a highlight team tokens are lots invested for uh, two years. Total supply is going to be 100 million. Uh, the initial circling rating supply, this is what we see here. And we see, you know, 10% going to staking rewards, 5% to centralized exchange listings, 10% to marketing tokens, 4.8% to team tokens, which again, invested for two years, 5% to partnerships, 10% to game development, and 15% to PDE rewards. And taking a look, you know, uh, before we do that, so we see here the information in regards to the Pink Sale Launchpad and what's going on Pink Sale. Roadmap, we see some different phases, you know, so just be aware of that. We see phase one, um, team hiring, social media creation, white paper, UI and UX build, MVP release, marketing campaign, VC funding, and token launch. So we can see we're still going to be in phase one. And then phase two, we see video conferences, closed test, beta version, reward, early users, incentive program, hiring testers, TG partnerships, billboards, promotion. Now we see phase three, tokens burned, NFT collection, official game wants, uh, guilds onboarding, Instagram partners, next utility release, blockchain adoption, or trading pairs. And then we see in phase four, building a startup is not a marathon, it's a sprint, you know, so I think we all know that. We cannot predict what will happen in one month. So assuming where the world of farms will be in a few months is almost impossible. It's for sure we will make a couple of crew uh, crucial pivots that will have a massive impact on the total group of the protocol so bear with us so this is kind of indicating that you know and we don't know for sure that maybe there might be more coming you know but uh, they don't know where they're going to be you know at this point you know which i think is fair 
So they could have just, you know, indicated, you know, hey, expansion, you know, roadmap at this point. But I like the fact that they do indicate, you know, they provide an explanation here as they do, you know, here uh, in phase two and in phase one. So, um, so yeah, I, I would like to see them, you know, indicate, you know, more in terms of just small communication signals, you know, what's pending on going in, in process, you know, here, you know, in their roadmap, you know. But um, as you guys know, um, we're going to go through the main page and then I'll provide you with some final thoughts in regards to the roadmap but uh, we see strategic partners you know so they've got you know all of these indicated here I like the little graphic or thumbnail indicating that so what is the world of farms you know so we've already indicated that you know as we talked about it on the pink cell pre-cell page we see joining the community we get a couple of flags here or uh, these nice little graphics for telegram and for Twitter um, key points you know real token utility the gaming industry is a sector worth $300 trillion. Players spent $4.5 billion in VR games in 2020, and the crypto space is now worth around $1 trillion. However, most of the tokens still do not have real utility in the world of farms. The WLF, WOF, sorry, is going to be the sector token. It's going to be an in-game currency to exchange value and buy resources. So we see a number of different items you know, associated you know, with the token. The pink sale launch pads, so we've already covered pink sale, but we see again their roadmap in phase one, phase two, and three. Um, you know, so we see you know all of that, but again, we would it seems like we're getting you know a bit more um, information you know on well, not, not necessarily more, I shouldn't say that, um, but this is basically just a rehash you know, of what they've already put in the roadmap um, on their in the white paper as far as the roadmap is concerned. So getting my thoughts together as I go ahead and I do this. So, but either way, um, we do see that they do check off some things, you know, but the problem that I have here is that even though they check it off here, they don't check it off, you know, in the, in the, um, you know, in their white paper, which they should, you know, just to be consistent, you know, so, um, and the check marks, you know, should be, I think personally, you know, much more, um, much more prominent in terms of what they're doing. So give me one second real quick. All right. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at the rest of this, you know, so, and they do have, you know, this little signal, um, you know, which doesn't really explain, you know, what it is. It's just, you know, maybe this is, you know, for the rest of these, all just simply indicating that they haven't been done yet. But, um, but yeah, maybe just another color, you know, that doesn't blend in as easily, you know, on this, you know, that might be a little bit easier to see, you know, in regards, you know, to indicating, you know, what's already been completed, you know. But like I said, you know, consistency between what's going on here on the main page and in the white paper may be helpful in terms of, you know, indicating, you know, okay, this is what we've already completed, you know, what's pending and what's ongoing and so forth. So that's just my feedback, you know, there. Um, you in terms of um, anything else I had to add regarding you know their uh, their roadmap, so we get the game reveal, you know information, you know so they got some stuff that you can go ahead and engage with in terms of content there. Um, epic items, additionally items in the world of farms, you know will have different rarity. You're going to have common epic or legendary pitchforks, tractors, or fertilizers. For example, epic fertilizers will boost your crops. Finally, as time flows, we'll turn some parts of your game or in-game character into tradable NFTs. You know, so I think that's all kind of clever stuff. Uh, innovate game. Everybody talks about DeFi farming, but you ever heard about an, a real uh, OG DeFi farm? It's like a hey, uh, heyday for the crypto world who does not love to grind the crops. Get more lands and develop and own an empire full of adorable characters in beta testers. So after launching the open beta of the game, the community members will be able to test the world to get all the farms for free. And guess what? We'll reward early adopters. You know, that will provide us the valuable feedback with special roles on Discord, uh, WF airdrop, and access to closed communication channel uh, channels only for VIPs, which I think that's nice. So they got a button here, you know, to go ahead and play it now, but that's not live. It just leads you to, it's just linked to the home page, you know, so they give you an FAQ, you know, here at the footer of the page, and that's pretty much it, you know, in terms of uh, the information I want to cover, you know, concerning this project, you know, so as always, we, on this channel, we expose you, you know, to some projects that uh, you may not be aware of, you know, as we're doing here with the World of Farms, and 
Then the next step is on you to do some information gathering, uh, taking a look at some other content creators, you know, that may be covering the project and seeing what details, you know, you can acquire that help you to put together a more complete picture in terms of what the token and the project is all about. Uh, also taking a look at their social community and any of the documentation they have in association with the project. You know, again, all these things help to um, piece together um, what you're looking to do in terms of uh, an evaluation, you know, on this project to further inform uh, your position, you know, as to, you know, what your level of participation may look like concerning the project. As always, we don't even encourage you to invest in the channel, but again, we do always encourage you to get informed, you know, so, and that's where it's going to start, you know, taking a look at a number of different, you know, elements, you know, um, from an information, from an informational standpoint, uh, you know, so that you really know what you're looking at. Um, outside of any kind of hype, you know, FOMO, shilling, or anybody telling, telling you that, you know, hey, this is going to be the next, you know, 10x, you know, kind of thing, which you're never going to hear on this channel. But, um, but yeah, so I don't have anything else to add, you know, other than what I've already shared. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, you all enjoy the day.